through extends file-based data exchange to MuleSoft. There are two classes of B2B data exchange, EDI and MFT. With MuleSoft, any point B2B, you manage your EDI. With through, you manage your file data exchange. Through is the cloud MFT platform, which extends Mule integration platform with managed file transfer functionality. Through is designed as a cloud native system. It doesn't require deployment or maintenance, scales elastically, and customers only pay for use. Through is designed based on no code principle. All configuration and management is performed via the web-based portals for the enterprise administrators and for the partners. And the development skill set is not required to install or manage through. Through is API centric system. That means two things. Through provides native connector from you to exchange the data. The connector is available on um, Mule any point exchange. And also through implements uh, extensive API to allow orchestration by of through file flows by MuleSoft environments. Onboarding of partners is made very simple and fast with through. Administrators on through web portal create organizations and that automatically creates partner self-service portals where partners can continue configuring their endpoints. Essential feature of through is guaranteed delivery. Data is never lost, files are stored in through persistent cloud storage. Checkpoint restarts are implemented for all protocols. Alerts on all transfer exceptions are sent and files are either delivered successfully and then removed by retention policies, or the system retries to deliver the files until it's either success or until the expiration period comes first. Through is implemented based on publish subscribe design principle. That allows simple configurations which replace multiple point-to-point -point connections with flexible subscriptions in a loosely coupled system. Dynamic data routing between all source and target endpoints and mule connections makes it very easy. Endpoints could be added, modified, or deleted at any time, and flows automatically adjust. Through the event-driven architecture and asynchronous parallel processing based on pop sub design, improve performance, reliability, and scalability. Monitoring control. Through provides single pane of glass in the web portal for internal and external file exchange scenarios. Internal file exchange means that files are sent between the servers inside the enterprise without leaving the enterprise firewall. But orchestration and reporting uh, is managed via through cloud portal. Also, a through dashboards allow stop and start control of file flows, organizations, or files, file transfers, without any downtime. This diagram shows integration of Mule and through in B2B data exchange solution. Through integrates with Mule over two channels. Data channel. Data is exchanged between Mule and through, marked by blue arrows. And control channel. Mule orchestrates through MFT processes by consuming through API, marked by green arrows. Data channel integration. Through MFT certified connector from Mule is published in any point exchange, runs in Mule flows, and calls through to pick up the file from through, drop off file to through, get metadata, or pass Mule flow information to through. Files with data that requires processing are passed from through to Mule via connector, and after processing, the data is passed to the enterprise applications via Mule API. Reverse process is equally supported. In addition to data channel integration with Mule, through supports file exchange with enterprise repositories via direct connections. Another supported direct connection scenario is internal transfer, where files are exchanged between enterprise servers without crossing the firewall. Through orchestrates internal exchange and receives reporting information, but the data stays inside the enterprise. Through provides extensive management API, and Mule can call it to orchestrate MFT flows according to data processing events. Okay, we'd like to talk to you about three typical use cases for MFT with Mule. First use case is imagine the enterprise needs to exchange files on a scheduled basis with their external business partners or applications in the cloud. So for example, Workday. An enterprise might be using Workday and they need to exchange CSV files on a daily basis. MFT provides persistence, which enables guaranteed delivery decoupling the file exchange process from Mule and relieving Mule of the burden of file exchange while still integrating with Mule so Mule can have a single pane of glass and visibility of all the file transfer activity. Second use case 
Imagine a large enterprise has a distribution network. In this case, we're talking about Crocs. Imagine Crocs got a number of retail stores and they need to exchange files on a daily basis. So in this scenario, Crocs retail needs to send back daily sales data each day back to HQ so that they can fulfill orders and analyze performance. Your third use case is internal file transfer. So one system on the network to another system on the network, all orchestrated from the cloud and integrated with Mule. So in all these scenarios through via persistence, i.e. storing files, we provide guaranteed delivery. Okay, here's what we're seeing in the market today. The enterprise are on a cloud first strategy. They're using legacy products. I'm not saying these companies here are legacy companies, but there's some legacy products there and they're migrating to the cloud. They're on that cloud journey and they need to put that B2B layer in the cloud, MuleSoft, and through Unify, EDI, MFT, and API-based integrations in a seamless B2B solution. Enough of me. I'm going to hand over to my colleague, Alexi Godek, who is going to provide you with a demonstration of through and Mule. Thank you. Let's start in the transports view. Transports are through's file exchange workflow processes. With a publish and subscribe design, it allows a variety of flow configurations between different endpoints, like many-to-one, one-to-many, or many-to-many -many using our broadcast. Let's look at our many-to-many -many transport. From within the transport view, we can see we have four subscribers, one being the enterprise who's been defined as the target, and three organizations who are going to be delivering files. The enterprise has got multiple endpoints set up for the files to be delivered to. And let's look at organization one and the endpoints it wants to use for being part of this file exchange process. Here we can see organization one has multiple endpoints defined. Schedules can be set. Let's go to this external server and place a file to be pulled. Let's upload this file to an external server. Through will pull this server and find any files available, pull them into the platform. As we can see, the file has now vanished. Going back to the platform, if we go to our files view, we can see the file has arrived and it's in an in-progress state. The filters above allow you to refine the reports and file activities further. We have quick access back to the transport. We can download the file. We can go directly to the activity associated with this file on this transport only. Or we can click on the endpoint delivery view to see the status of the deliveries. Here we can see we've pushed it to an external server. It's being prepared for the file to be collected from the platform and also an email is being prepared for it to be pushed out. We also have a files delivery dashboard. It allows you to drill into deliveries further, into activity, statuses, times. If we look at the reverse sort of transport where it's a one to many, here again, we've got four subscribers, but this time the enterprise is the source delivering to three organizations. Now I'm gonna place a file, but this time I'm gonna append the file with the public code of one of these organizations to perform a private delivery, even though we have multiple subscribers. So now we are connected to the enterprise's server. Let's upload this file, which you can see has been appended 003. The platform will collect the file from the enterprise's server and then selectively deliver it only to Enterprise 3. Back in the files view, we can see the file, Enterprise File Out, has arrived, and we can see it's only been delivered to the code 003, which relates to Organization 3. After refreshing, we can see the file is in a delivered state for Organization 3. If we do the same this time, but don't add a private delivery prefix to the file, we will see the file gets delivered to all the organizations subscribed. Let's refresh the files view. We can see the file is now come in and this time it's going to six endpoints. We can now see we've delivered to five out of six endpoints. We can click on the delivery view associated with this transport and see we are just pending a, a preparation of a file. Now let's look at how 
we can connect directly to a mule flow. I have a few transports set up that either are going to be being given a file from mule to deliver to organizations or an organization will drop off a file which will then be reverse picked up by mule. Let's start with the drop off. If we look at the drop off for organization one, we can see something generates some data, hands it to mule, mule then pushes out to the platform and we then distribute it to the endpoints the platform or organization wishes to use. Let's switch to AnyPoint Studio. In AnyPoint Studio, we have the through certified connector with some simple operations like drop off, pick up, exposing metadata or reporting back an outcome. Here we can see on a new file being generated, it gets handed the connector. Let's click run and start Mule. Let's go to a staging folder where we have some files that I'm going to give to Mule. Let's take these two files. We can see Mule has grabbed the files and it's uploaded into the platform to the unique transport codes. The files are in the platform and automatically know to be distributed to the organizations that subscribed and the endpoints they have defined. Here we can see Mueller's dropped off the files. It's in a delivery state and it's in progress. We've delivered to five out of seven. Let's try the reverse this time. Mueller's going to do a pickup. Organization one is going to make a file available at their server. Here I'm connected to organization one's server. Let's upload a file that Mule will eventually pick up. File gets uploaded. Back in the platform, we can see the transport called Mule Pickup has collected the file and has handed it to Mule. We look at the activity here, we can see the file landed, the flow has picked it up, the flow has actually reported back the pass of the file. Let's go to Mule and look. Here we can see the file was downloaded. We are displaying the file name and we also know the organization it came from. So we picked up the file, it's been written out somewhere, we've reported back the outcome and we've displayed the metadata. Refreshing the view back in the platform shows the flow has been passed. Let's do one more example of a drop-off, but this time doing a selected delivery. Back in Mule, we're going to use the drop-off flow. This time we're going to use the file with the private code prefix. If we cut this and place it in the staging folder, we can see Mule's found the file and it's passing it to the through connector. The file has been uploaded. Here we can see the file has arrived. This time it's a selective delivery. If we go and look at organization three, we can see they have two endpoints defined. Now the file has been delivered to both endpoints successfully. From here we can look at our activity stream. This tracks all processes that happen in the platform whether it be a login, a file in, a file out, a configuration change. We also have an alerts dashboard. The alerts dashboard is currently only showing pending alerts. If I switch to all alerts, we can see the system automatically recovers. Here, for example, we were trying to pull from a source. It wasn't available. We retried six times, but after two minutes, we were successful and automatic recover. We have unlimited, persistent and secure cloud storage. We ensure files are never lost and are stored until successfully delivered. The system allows flexible configurations of partner organizations and the protocol endpoints they wish to use. We also support simple and fast partner onboarding. The platform is API centric, allowing it to be orchestrated by Mule or using the native connector to exchange data with Mule.